Welcome back to Break Tech. In this video, we're going to continue our skeleton project. We're going to do the next section below our testimonials, which is going to be this license and insured section or previous customers, which I think I'm going to make it previous customers. So we'll just need to create a gray div with um, looks like one row with just the name in it and then a second row with a bunch of icons. So it should be really quick. Um, let's try and get through maybe a couple of things here. Um, so I'm going to go back to our code. We'll go ahead and make this bigger for you. And I will start a new section. Call this past clients. All right. So in this section, let's make sure we close our container. From the previous section, we did not. So we'll go ahead and do that and tab that up and tab there and these are in the other row well my tabs keep getting messed up but there we go it's fixed all right so for this section we have uh, we'll go ahead and just call it past clients want an S on there so past clients in there we'll have a container in that container we'll have a row and in that row we'll just have an H2 that is past clients and then we'll do another row of images and let's see so we can make columns for this if we'd like. Um, so let's see, there's one, two, three, four, five. Five doesn't split into 12 really well for columns. So let's do four, we can do three row columns. Let's do, do dot three columns. And inside there, we just want an image And the source will be, I think we're going to go logo.png and put an alt in as past client logo. So let's go ahead and preview that and see what it looks like. Just as a side note, as I was getting ready to do this video, I just checked and my icons are back. On my live reload so I'm not sure what the deal is there uh, of course now it's not working at all oh there we go uh, logo.png oh I didn't correctly put in the source so that'll be dot slash images slash logo.png hmm. live reload is taking a really long time I don't know it's because I've had it open for so long or or what? There you go. So that's 300 by 300. Uh, we can resize that here in a minute. So we want five, four of these. See what that one looks like. I may have to restart this. I don't know why it's loading so slowly. I'm going to go ahead and restart it. So Control Shift 3. Oh, that'll be on this window. Control Shift 3. This is an optional add on. You actually have to add it on to, um, to add them. So if you haven't added it specifically, uh, let me know in the comments below and I will show you how if you don't know how to do that. I don't know what the holdup is here. So local server it should be extremely fast. All right. So we need to resize those images. We need to give them a little bit of padding. So 
So let's give it, let's give this section a name. Well, I guess we already used past clients. So we can use that. So I'll go all the way to the bottom there. We'll do past clients. And images. And we'll say height of like 100 pixels. And that might even still be too big. Uh, width is it just auto. I think that looks much better. Uh, we need to add our padding to the past client section. So we'll add a padding top of 50 pixels. And we also want to add that light gray background color. So on the background color, let's go grab that save this off but we'll go ahead and grab that background color from our source image oops so. all right so that's f3 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 and then we may need to change the color of our text as well It didn't look like it applied it. So let's go ahead. Oh, I didn't have the S. So there we go. Pass clients. That should fix everything. And you can see now we have that light gray background. All right, beneath that. I think that looks fine. Beneath that section, we want another one of these yellow borders. So we'll go back to our HTML. And we'll go ahead and add a comment, just a divider. So we can add another div divider. And we'll go ahead and see how that looks. I can't remember if we look at the Source. So yeah, those are the same size. So we want it exactly the same. At the bottom here, you can see there's a very slight, uh, maybe like a one, maybe two pixel border as well. So we'll go ahead and add that after we do another hero image. Actually, let's check our page. So you can see that that's in there now. Uh, I think we want, let's look at our, HTML. we want some padding on the bottom of this too. So maybe on our maybe on our container. Or maybe we just add it on past clients. Yeah, let's just add it on past clients. Let's add 50 pixels there as well. The next section is not going to have a title like the previous sections did. Let's see. Oh, that looks much better. Okay, perfect. Uh, so below that, we have another hero image. Let's go ahead and go back to our HTML. And we'll add below the divider another comment. So I'm just going to call this bottom hero. So let's add a bottom hero. Oops. Bottom hero div. Inside of there, we'll do a container. Inside of that container, we'll have a row. And inside that row, we're just going to have an H2. And that H2 is going to say, get in touch with us today. All right, and below that, we have a button. which I think says like get get a quote, request a quote. All right, we need to add our classes to that. So our classes for button are button, button primary. 
so that it matches the button above. And that is not going to be centered, so we'll have to add some styling to center. And then we need to add the image as well. And we'll probably need to add some padding on top and bottom of the H2. So let's go ahead and add a class to that actually. Uh, we'll call that. Uh, what do we want to call it? Bottom tag. Call it bottom tag for bottom tag line. Actually, I'm not sure we want to use that. Let's use. Let's wait on that. Let's see what it looks like. All right, get in touch with us today. And I don't see the button. Oops. Try to save in the wrong window. There we go. There's our button. All right. So let's do a little styling first and then we'll fix it. So bottom dash hero. First things first, let's go ahead and add the background image. And that's going to be a URL. And we're going to use, I think I use lake.jpg. Yeah, just jpg. We want no repeat. And we want to do a cover. taking infinity to reload so in the meantime let's just give that let's see, do we need to give that this would give bottom hero some padding on top and bottom probably of like 50 pixels. And I guess we'll just go like so. And we can text align center. See how that looks. That looks really good. All right. And we can add more padding to the top of this, but I think the color needs to change. So let's change the color to white. It'll fit better with our design. And for some reason, it's fast now. I have no idea what the difference is. So we can go ahead and look at our source image. And next thing we need is a small divider. So I will just go ahead and create a class. Call it a small divider. And we can go back into our CSS. And in our small divider, we want a height of, let's say, five pixels. Our width is 100%, which is it is by default, but it's fine. And then we need to grab that yellow color, which I think is this one. And we'll go take a look at that. All right, so you can see the small border at the bottom. I think it's more like two pixels. Let's go ahead and save that off. Below the small divider, we just have. Oops, sorry about that. Uh, we just have a small copyright. So let's just do another div for the copyright. Or right, we can call it dot footer. And in there, we just want a paragraph. 
and we just copy and paste that right in. So it just says copyright 2016, we change it to 2017, and we'll change that to and copy and C O P Y semicolon. Change the year, close off our P tag. And we want to text align center that footer as well and then change the color. So it should be that dark gray with white text. All right, so color white for the text. We need background color of that dark gray, which is the same color as Color gray was that? It was like F6, F6, F6. F3, F3, F3. Okay. And text align center. And that might be too big for the text since it's supposed to be a little smaller than the rest of the text. Uh, it's the wrong dark gray. We actually want this dark gray. Let's just grab it again. So we'll just go ahead and throw that in. Wait for that reload. And it's going slow again. I'm not sure why. And I lost my icons again. It's weird. Anyhow, I'll make it quick. Oh, there's a typo there, so we'll fix that, should fix everything. All right, and I think uh, change our font size to like 12 pixels, should be smaller. Yeah, looks good. Alright, so unfortunately because of my internet connection I'm not able to show you the entire completed site, uh, but if those icons were showing you'd have what looks very similar to our source image. Uh, we think we've done good and Skeleton has been really fun to use. It's super lightweight, it's super easy, um, it doesn't offer a ton in the way of styling, but you know it's, it's just a tool to help you create a nice responsive site. In fact, if we want to just check how responsive it is, we can go ahead and shrink this window down and look how everything turned out. So it actually looks great. Uh, the only other thing I think we could do is we could center these images. All right, so all I've done to fix the centering issue is I added a class to the three col or the four columns that contain the logo pictures. I called it pictures. So we'll just use text align center on the pictures and we get uh, nice centered pictures. As you can see here, they're centered before we hit the breakpoint. As we hit our breakpoint and go down to one column, they stay centered in the div. And it looks really nice. So we have a great responsive theme. It was very easy to create. We use minimal CSS um, and the site looks good. So hopefully you have enjoyed this. Oh, I just noticed one other problem. There's a little bit of white space at the bottom of the page that we need to get rid of. So let's go ahead and, and grab that real quick. Something has a margin or something is uh, overflowing outside of its container. Let's go ahead and check that. So it is the footer paragraph that has a margin on the bottom. So let's go ahead and fix that really quick. Let's we'll just put a margin bottom of zero on that footer paragraph tag, and that should fix our page so there's no more white space at the bottom. Excellent. So this is a finished product. Hope you guys enjoyed this video series. If you have any requests for new videos, let me know. I'm always looking for something to do. Um, if you have any questions about this project, uh, please leave a comment down below. And if you like this video, please click like, and I would love it if you'd subscribe. Thanks for watching. This has been Doug with Break Tech.